Number 61. Complete the changes in concentrations or pressure, if requested, for each of the following reactions. And then we have this balanced equation. So we have to find the change in the pressure for H2 gas plus Cl2 gas, which comes to equilibrium with 2 HCl gas. Now I know that it's a change in pressure because they gave me ATM value. An ATM value, or ATMs, atmospheres, that's a pressure uh, unit. So anytime you see ATM, we're dealing with pressure. Now we just got to figure out what's going on here. Well, we got to go by what's given. They told us that the H2 increased by a factor of X. And I know that this is increasing because this X value is a positive value, right? They didn't say that this was minus X. So this has to be plus, which means increasing. So if I'm increasing one reactant, what's going to happen with the other reactant? Yeah, if things are on the same side, if one's going up, the other one's got to go up as well. And then if the reactants are increasing, what's going to happen to the products? Yeah, these are going to decrease. If reactants are increasing, products have to be decreasing. You can't increase the whole system or decrease the whole system. There's got to be that equilibrium give and tug. One goes up, the other one comes down. So Cl2 is going to be a plus value. And since this is dropping, this would be represented by a negative. Now we got to figure out what these are, right? And that comes from the coefficients. There was nothing in front of the H2. That means that there was one. There was nothing in front of the Cl2. That means that there was one, right? And then there's two HCLs. The coefficient value is the number in front of the X value. So for ones, right? This was technically plus 1x. But remember, when we say 1x, we just say x, right? So the same thing goes for here. This would be plus 1x, but 1x is the same as x, so I can just say plus x. Now for this one, for the 2HCl, there's a 2 here. So I have to keep that there. So this is going to be minus 2x. Now let's get the actual values comes from what we're given. X equals 1.5 ATM, right? So if I'm increasing by X and I get 1.50, I know that X has to equal 1.50. And these are exactly the same, plus X and plus X. So this would be also 1.50 ATM. But now on my product side for 2 HCl, I am decreasing by 2 times X. Well, I could just use algebra, right? I could say that this would be a negative 2 times 1.5, right? And that's equal to 3, right? So this would be minus 3.00 ATM. I just put the 0 .00 there just for sig fig, uh, sig fig purposes, but nobody cares. <laughs> so, but just, just so that it's there for you guys. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Oh, and one last thing, what I want to say is just take note that, remember, there's no such thing as negative pressure. This negative means that the HCl is dropping by 3 ATM. So that means that your initial pressure that you started with had to have been greater than 3 to get an equilibrium pressure of a positive value. And, yeah. But we will see that, you know, in future uh, lessons. So... Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. That will help us out. We're almost at 15,000 subscribers, which is absolutely incredible. And we wouldn't be here without you guys. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot to us. And let's keep working hard. I believe in you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.